Okay, I'm here in a uh, top secret North Hollywood location and I'm gonna do some uh, work with my boss today. So we have the uh, D5A, or Big Dumbest Tube as I like to call it, which is the, uh, the drum kit, Rick Allen's drum kit. Huge one piece kit. And I got his racks, all that fun jazz, coffee machine, because I have coffee rehearsals. And uh, we'll be here all week. More later. So today was a pretty busy day. Uh, as you saw from the little intro there, I spent most of the, uh, well, really all the day over um, at a rehearsal location uh, getting ready for this uh, upcoming tour we're doing in a few months. Um, what we are doing right now is um, programming uh, a new system for doing uh, uh, click, uh, clicks for uh, for Rick. That's a lot. A lot. Uh, essentially, what we have been doing for for like the last year or so, year and a half, is we've been running the uh, the click that he plays long to off of his actual drum kit. Um, when I came in, what we were doing is I, I would manually punch in and out um, with a little drum machine. We had a Lisa's SR sixteen, now SR eighteen, and so. If guitar player to intro, uh, I would basically kind of tap the tempo in, come in a certain point, or sometimes I would you know punch in or punch out for certain parts of songs. And what we started doing last year was we actually put all the all uh, the pre-programmed click onto his rig. So when if he uh, hit the intro pad, the click would run. Uh, or whenever he came in, he would not hit the pad, the click would run, and it made things a little more consistent. Um, and it's allowed us to start looking at some ideas for doing some sequencing for video, be able to send out time code, um, and and whatnot. Uh, but what we're doing right now is um, we're moving that off of his actual sampling system onto a separate computer, mainly because having uh, having the clicks tied there means that if somebody ever uh, got haywire, especially if we're running uh, time code and stuff, I, I can't uh, do any, any um, programming on the fly during the show. I can't hop in, start editing, or kill a particular drum patch because it would kill everything else. Um, and uh, so today we, we, we got everything set up. New system's working great. Um, one of the other benefits of doing off the laptop system is, is we're getting things set up so when Rick goes back to his home to rehearse, uh, we can, he can actually rehearse with the, with the band. And we're, we're putting a... Uh, a, um, a left right mix from the show like the actual uh, board mix or uh, from our front, uh, front house guy uh, and lining up with Rick's click so when he hits when he smacks the, uh, the the start pad of the click in his ears he'll be able to actually have the band playing without him um, and he can just play along with the show as he normally would no difference so it's great for, for you know, a rehearsal standpoint um, it just took a little bit more work to get all the little various MIDI pieces to work. So it's a pretty complicated system. Um, I've, we've been running some trouble with the software we have been using, uh, which is Digital, digital Performer, um, due to a MIDI jitter issue. Since we are using a pad uh, off the rig, it generates um, a, a MIDI note, which is great for the drum sampler, but for some reason the uh, Digital Performer has a really bad lag, and it's a variable lag with when it comes to MIDI note commands. As far as like start, uh, like hitting play on the click system, sometimes it would be spot on, sometimes it would be a little late. Um, it, we're talking, you know, maybe zero to ten milliseconds, but it was zero to ten milliseconds of variable, and with my boss, it drives him in absolutely insane. Uh, so a friend of mine today had uh, told me about this program called MIDI Stroke which converts any any incoming MIDI information to uh, the keyboard key, which is amazing. So I literally just told it, say, yeah, whenever you see this note, consider it a space bar hit. And we tried it today, and it's working flawlessly. Everything is, is spot on, so it solved a bunch of problems. But today did take us a fair amount of time. Uh, our front of house guy who's out uh, with me right now, basically two of us spent almost the entire day getting... Um, songs lined up with the clicks um, just so everything is you know for Rick is spot on and then uh, going through and test testing system to make sure it's rock solid uh, and we don't have any issues 
Uh, we're going to be in there the next couple of days doing some more tweaks, uh, changing a few, some, a few sounds around. Um, a lot of this just so we can get the, uh, the complicated electronic stuff sorted out before we have full band rehearsals. Um, as Rick's rig is pretty complicated, some things take more time than others to tweak. And having to do any massive programming when I have all five boys in one room is shit, to put it mildly. And uh, it's a little more, um, it's definitely high, more high stress for me, but it's also more pain in the ass for them when they're, you know, flying in from various places and they can't play because I'm stuck, you know, in the back of a computer for an hour or two. So hopefully having this all squared away this week will make uh, our eventual actual to uh, band rehearsals a lot easier um, combined with this is going to be able to give Rick um, a, about a month and a half Jess's house with uh, with a setup that is actually the, the show setup so he'll be able to sit down on, on where I'm going to bring his uh, his fly rig which is the C kit uh, not the one you see uh, in the photo, uh, the beginning here or you'll see tomorrow because I'll have a, uh, some video footage of it um, but I'm bringing that C, the C rig over to his house with the, uh, the laptop system we have going on here so he'll be able to like just spend uh another said month and a half just on muscle memory, get himself back in shape, um and just really get dialed in. So when the band shows up, he's hundred percent ready to go, as opposed to me you know, knocking the cobwebs off a little bit. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna uh, finish this up for today. Tomorrow I'll have I'll I'll do a lot more filming. It'll be a little less hectic over there, so I can get some B roll stuff. Um. And, uh, you know, some shots of the kit because there's not that much detailed video of, of Rick's kit out there. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a uh, tutorial or a video tour, perhaps. Maybe a little bit of tu a tutorial on how some of the stuff works. And uh, maybe actually a little bit of footage of Rick playing. Um, but we'll see. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow.